Hey, Brazers, how are you guys? Okay, so I love reading the comments on Nader's videos. I love what people have to say. I figured let's go ahead and read some of these comments together. So it's under the Mexican casserole live. Um, I've never seen, like, usually Mexican food is so colorful, right? Like, it's so colorful. It's so pretty, bright, um, fresh. It just, it's so good. His food just, uh, no, I feel like, no. All right, you guys, let's get into these comments. Breaking Insanity Cycle said, next time use queso acerrado. It's a Mexican cheese that's great for melting. It is soft, white, and creamy with a mild taste and is often used to make pizzas, quesadillas, and queso. Oh my gosh, I love it in quesadillas. That just made me so hungry. Mrs. Girl said, the smoke coupled with the setting off the fire alarm made up for you wimping out on the spicy noodle challenge. There was a spicy noodle challenge? Whiskey Vixen said, Mexican and casserole, two words I never expected to see together. Someone call Rachel Ray and tell her she's got competition. <laughs> Living a Spoonie's Life. Hi, Living a Spoonie's Life. Said laughing emoji. It's like when I was five and had an easy bake oven and pretended to have a restaurant. <laughs> oh my gosh, I miss those days. Oh, wow. Those days were so much fun. I think we all pretended to have a restaurant at some point. Um, while we're talking about that, I want to say like, it's okay to admit, like, if we don't know it all, or if we don't know how to make certain dishes, or, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay to admit that. He won't just admit that he's not the best at everything. Like, he can't utter those words for some reason. Um, my Girls Breathe Fire said, Nader, do you ever say anything nice about anyone but yourself? No. But let's see what he says. Yes, always. To who? When? Where? When did this happen? I've never heard you say anything nice about anybody but Dee Dee and yourself. Nothing else. Tuck said, I am Mexican-American. Our food is colorful and fresh. How do you manage to make all your food look like vomit? There you go. Let's see what his reply is. I'm not sure. Well, you're the chef, aren't you? You should know. Karen said, hi, y'all from Texas. We have great Mexican food here, known for our chili con queso in West Texas and New Mexico. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Alyssa said, Mexican food is great. He replied, yes, I agree. Okay, Kim Adams said, the smoke detector gets more use than the toilet does lately. Oh my gosh. Now I'm no chef, but I can't remember the last time I cooked and my smoke detector went off. Is this something that's taught at chef training? Is there a certificate for this? Let's see what he replied. Oh, Sam Thunder said, yes, the certificate says failed. <laughs> they say timestamp, please, 3757. Nada wrote back, you are the best. And then keep it quiet, he said, what? This comment made no sense. Sandra G asked, so what makes this casserole Mexican? Let's find out. Jessica Mesca said, that's what the bag of cheese said. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see what his reply is. That was funny. Oh, I guess he didn't reply. Oh, well, well, checking these was so worth it to see that was what the bag of cheese said. <laughs> Parsley instead of cilantro? Kim said, according to Chef Alchemy, you can never have enough parsley or mint. That's why it's in everything he cooks. Holly Go Heavy said, parsley has no taste and it's just a garnish. It's for color and looks. It adds nothing to a dish. If he believes it adds flavor, he is sorely mistaken. Okay, let's see. Celia said, cooking on Cinco de Mayo doesn't make your casserole Mexican. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jose or Mama said, OMG, clean the grease out of the oven. Oh, please. Swirling Dervish said, cooking with gnats, it's either raw or burnt. So true. Norma Jean said, I prefer not to hear Dee Dee talk. Anyone else? Jenny's number said, that's not Mexican, it's Tex-Mex. Let's see. He replied, delicious, did you try it? I don't know that anybody's making your recipes. Do you, know, do you think that they are? That's cute. Um, Breaking Insanity Cycle said, where's the rice and beans and only peppers in the salsa? Mm-hmm. Candy Ditch, bleh, Candy Ditch said, the smell of those poly blend jackets with no shirt on underneath must be quite something. Ugh. 
Dana said, stop smoking jumbos, bro. It's weird how you have money for whatever that is, but none for your own place or a car or food or a cookbook. He wrote back, that's not true. It's true. Holly Go Heavy said, when you make Mexican, it's not fresh and it all comes out of a can. Where's the fresh corn? Why aren't you grating cheese from the block? Tomatoes from a can? What is going on? Parsley in a Mexican dish? You needed cilantro. Parsley has no taste. Not a fresh meal. Let's see what he replied. It's not true. What's not true? So that whole thing is just, it's not true. Which part? Um, M said, did he not spice up the meat? Oh, no. And he put, I did, yes. Okay. Isabel said, bro, WTF, when he added the beans to the ground beef, my ancestors almost came back and slapped me for even watching this crap. <laughs> he wrote back, don't watch it again, thanks. Fibo, Fibo said, what? He added beans to the meat, OMG, like a seven-year cooking for his mom. Nader, I wouldn't tell people not to watch because, well, for one, I don't know that most of us watch you. I think that, like, we fast forward to a lot or pause it or just pause it and read the comments. I don't know that anybody's like sitting and like wasting all their time watching you make really, I don't even know what to say about your food, but your food, um, you're losing subscribers. Like nobody cares about the BS anymore. Nobody wants to be dealing with your and Chantel and Dee Dee's crazy, whatever it is. Like we're all tired of it. So you should pr probably mind your P's and Q's and be respectful and nice to the people who are even commenting because you know what? We pay your bills. Why be a jerk? Um, Necessary Evil said, I'm Mexican and this is a no. Like what on earth? I can't even put into words this terrible monstrosity. Pretty Genius wrote, hot dish coming through. Nader wrote, thanks, pretty. Kim Adams asked, did you buy this dish too? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to take a, a screenshot so we can... Because you know how the the rumor is pretty genius is Chantal. So I don't know. I can't confirm. I can't deny. That's just what I've seen in other comment sections. Um, Spider Rico said, cilantro, Paul, not parsley. And clean your dirty oven. An oven shouldn't smoke. Oh, no, it should not. Keep it kawaii said, ew. He used cleaner on that wooden cutting board and the knife. Didn't get all the residue off and set it down to use both again. You don't do that. No, you do not. Casey said, so is this the job gig? I bet Dee Dee pays him. I don't know. Maybe. Co said, with all that cabinet space, why leave out all the spices and oils? It looks so messy. The kitchen used to look so nice and smoking cigarettes over your prep station is grotesque. He wrote back, thanks for watching. Co said, I watched on his stream snipe and came to comment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Isabel said, this is pure culinary blasphemy. Mexico doesn't do olives in their food, period. Wait, but I've had tamales with olives in them. So it, does it just depend on the person? Because I find I really like the cheese tamales. And then um, I've had it where there's black olives in it. And it was really good. Okay, somebody put 3730. Let's look at their replies. L-M-A-F-A-O-O. -O -O. L M F A O O O. Ali said, still has the oven set at 500 degrees, I see. Norma Jean said, OMG, that fire alarm almost bur bursted out my eardrums. Headphone user, beware. Yeah, okay, we won't go to it because I don't want... You know, I know a lot of people are watching at night or to wind down, and who wants to hear an alarm? Eh. All right, Helene said, oops. Nader, you're always looking at someone else's cooking channel when you're cooking. Cheater. Beefy said, burnt. Cynthia said, I'm sure nobody knows a clerk that can find out a date when court case come up. Said no one ever. Wendy said, pretty cheap meals. Insane Wall Street Bets Trade said, burnt again. JC said, where to find these horrible recipes? When does your job start? Uh, Maria said, smoking in a house which is not yours is very disgusting. It's rude. Kimmy said, you burnt the cheese. And he wrote back, I don't think so. Living a Spoonie Life said, stop gaslighting. You could barely cut through it and it's on camera. There you go. Duck said, stop trashing food cultures. What the heck? 
Follow a recipe and stop thinking you know everything. You cannot cook Mexican food. Gee, stop letting your ego get in the way. You're in a Western country, K, not Egypt. R said, no Didi again to film? Jessica said she was there. Okay, so she was there, I guess. What kind of, does D, what kind of a question is that? Ew, we're going to scroll up on that. Um, Lynn said that looks pretty good to me. Okay. Isabel said, you don't know good food, at least not Mexican food. Made a row back, thanks. Okay, let's see. Never my nosy said looks, yum. Why? Oh, you don't have to lie to make friends. You don't have to. Amanda said, get new eyes. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I wanted to read the comments together. Um, I always find, like, the comments are oftentimes more interesting than his, well, more, okay, the comments are more interesting than his live streams, but with Chantel, I find, like, the, hmm, I don't even know. I lost it, so I'm going to end it here. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you guys so soon. Bye.